Hello and welcome back to the channel. In the comments that we've been getting everywhere uh, on the web, you've made it blatantly clear that you like the weekly vlog format. In other words, what Tamara and I get up to from day to day in the week. Well, we're going to produce more of them and this one is one of those. Well, welcome to Sunday. The snow is almost gone and it's getting warmer. The sun is back and Tamara's father, Predrag, is now pruning back his fruit. At the top of the garden, we've got a, a whole row of grapes, dark grapes. They're very tasty, very, very sweet. But it's time to prune them back because across the whole of the property, the buds are now out. They're starting to show that there's life coming back to the garden. And hopefully we don't get any more frost, which will then damage them seriously when it's blossom time. Do you know, people say there's breakfasts of champions. I like bacon and eggs, actually. But Tamara's making these beautiful oatmeal, baked oatmeal with fruit. And then she puts dollops of healthy peanut butter yes there is such a thing and uh, date syrup that is a breakfast for champions you coming for a breakfast as well well it's monday afternoon it's been a bit of a non-starter monday i don't know if you noticed earlier on but um when i was talking about the lovely breakfast that tam made uh, i had a bandage on here and um Although it doesn't look much, my purse, my finger. Um, yeah. When I woke up this morning, I was chopping some briquettes uh, so we could start the fire in the living room. And as I whacked down with the uh, the axe, it took... <laughs> I thought I'd lost uh, my finger, actually, but it sliced off the side of the, um, of the finger. So it doesn't look much, and I'm not grimacing in pain, but, yeah... It's a bit of a bummer. So Monday, the day on the vlog that was all down to a finger. Hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep and then tomorrow we can crack on. Steia tuya. It is what it is. Still a chilly but overcast Tuesday here in the village. If you were wondering about my finger, it's still not fixed. But it's getting there. Sister Tamara uh, is looking after me. Helicopters flying around. We have the air base for the army of Bosnia and Herzegovina, not far away um, in Laktashi. So if you hear helicopters on the vlogs, that's why. But today's main tasks, two uh, for me. One, I have to do a podcast and also Got to go off and buy some presents for the ladies in the family for Osmi Mat, which is uh, International Women's Day. Because tomorrow we're going into town and rather than take the ladies out, Tam's mum's going to make a lunch for us. So today, podcasts and a wee bit of shopping. Who is... Ramanyana Mabita. So I am I am a girl from Bosnia, living in Zimbabwe, uh, and before that in Madagascar has actually changed me the most in my life so far because these two countries have been the most different from anything I knew before. Hot sock, David. I like hot socks.
So this is the health centre in Lactatia. We've just been there. Continuation of the finger. Um, I'm not in any problems yet, but we're going to go into Banyaloo to see the doctor um, and see where we go from there. But this is it. This is like the health centre where you go before you ring for emergency. And I think the ambulances actually work from here. I have nothing bad to say about healthcare in Bosnia Herzegovina. There are a number of houses that I like in Banyaluka, I like the old ones. And this is from 1904. Hope the wind isn't affecting the recording. And it looks all old and dilapidated, but honestly, these old houses are wonderful. I'm not sure of the street name, but this is opposite the Faculty of Medicine, so you'll find that on Google Maps. But can you imagine what it looked like if the graffiti was taken off and like it was restored to what it might have looked like back in the Austro-Hungarian times? So this building used to be, when I first came to Banja Luka, the British consulate. But it has a history within Banja Luka and it is, I think it was going to be a protected building, but you can see now it's looking pretty sad for itself. If I won the lottery tomorrow, I would buy this and store it to its former glory. But another really cool property that, as you can see in Banja Luka, isn't doing too well. They're not really looking after the buildings that much. I'm sure somebody will comment to say they are. Osmimat lunch. We're getting ready. This is ustipsi. I like it. These are not healthy, but I love them. Just like English fried bread, but don't tell anybody. Today the weather is overcast again, which for me is good because I can get down and do some video editing. And this is this vlog actually. Uh, I try wherever possible to record things in daily segments and then edit them as I go. So when we get to Saturday, I can just, you know, tighten it up and make it all really as best as I possibly can um, for you to watch on YouTube. And by the way, if you wonder what the software is, it's CapCut. A lot of people use it on their mobile phones for their TikToks and YouTube shorts and everything. So they can do everything on the move. There is an excellent desktop um, uh, app that I've got on my uh, MacBook Air here. Um, and I just love it. So maybe this is a sneak peek <laughs> behind the scenes of what you watch uh, every week. Good morning Friday and we're starting with another breakfast of champions savory pita and yogurt I'm telling you years ago when I was a kid I just hated yogurt how things change It's Saturday here in the village. We're still having overcast days and we've just had some pretty strong rain showers. But in between those rain showers, Fredrag and our neighbor have uh, had the chainsaw out and have been doing some work on the larger fruit trees, the apple trees and the cherry trees. And it really is a sort of do it while you can. So out when we've got a clear patch, then race indoors when it's raining then back out again. So it's a bit of a yo-yo session. And the weather forecast for the next few days isn't looking all that brilliant either. Having said that, we could have, uh, in four days time, still overcast days, but 20 degrees Celsius. 
But yes, the trees, phase two of the fruit pruning here in the garden. Another week in my life here in Bosnia and Herzegovina. If you've liked this video, please do give us a thumbs up because it really does help the algorithm. Share it with your friends and neighbors and also consider subscribing to the channel because it really does help this channel to grow. And your thoughts and comments about what type of videos you'd like to see on this channel are always appreciated. And thank you so much for the comments and suggestions and advice actually that you've sent so far. Well, that's it, as I said, for this video. If you want to see some more videos, they're coming up here in just a second. But until next time, please do stay safe wherever you are in the world.